Hello everyone, so finally I finished building Taki, or Tiki actually. Um, I got the new RTC in there as you can see, and the wiring have been redone. Uh, I was going to post this last night, but I broke the power connector there. Which means that next time I make this, I will probably, or when I finish this up, I'm going to cover some of the connections in the back with epoxy to prevent short circuits and also reinforce that part. As you can see, this is a pretty tight package. Um, the uh, power regulator there actually uses uh, one of the standoffs as heat dissipation. Um, it's fairly tight. You have to see the three buttons as well as the status indicator for the RTC. Um, the temperature sensor is squeezed in right there, so it gives you accurate temperature reading. Um, I'm still worried about the heat output of the, um, I guess, the microcontroller as well as the voltage regulator affecting the voltage um, output of that temperature sensor, but I think I'll worry about that later. So today, let's just power this up. This is um, uh, a 9 volt wall wart, uh, probably outputs close to 12 volt, but it drops off to 10 once it's connected. So here's the power indicator light on, and you can see we have time, and it's now 942 here. So let's go through all the modes. Um, we have the mode selector and then the adjustment. So you can see the power indicator is actually blinking for the RTC because I'm not supplying power to the RTC um, all the time, just when it checks for time. So let's go through the mode. So you have timekeeping, you have month and date, it takes a second to update. Uh, I think I'll shorten that time. This is just so that the update is every once in a while instead of continuously. It's about an update every, I don't know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 of a second. So it's February the 5th. I know this is wrong. I was just playing around with it last night to uh, get it working right. And then the next will be the temperature reading. Um, this needs some calibration. I think right now the room is probably close to 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, so it needs to be calibrated, but it's working fine. The display is working. And um, I like how it turns out. turned out. And uh, next is time adjustment. Pretty straightforward. Adjust time. When you press the mode button again, it will set the time and then move on to the next selection, which is actually a date adjustment or month and date. So here, let's move that back to January the 26th today. All right, and that's. January 26th, and then you set it. You can see the time is now 9.43. The date is January the 26th. And it's 15 degrees. Go through all that. Just so you know, every time you go through a cycle, it resets the second. So be aware of that. If you keep going through the cycle, your time will be slowly slowing down because every time you go through the time setting cycle it resets the seconds to zero. I might change that back but right now it's a nice feature if you want to sync the time perfectly. And uh, other than that, that's it. I'll give you a full look around. It runs on a Droid's um, prototyping board. I think it's called the Droid 1000 but that actually has 1000 connections. Lots of point to point soldering with wires. And uh, basically the whole thing, aside from the RTC, the schematic is designed by me. And uh, I try to make it as compact, as space saving as possible. Alright, hopefully I'll get this thing finished up. And uh, thanks for watching.